I saw this online, but I wasn't sure it was true, but I had to verify it, but I think it is. The main villain of the Suicide Squad, James Gunn Suicide Squad, or maybe one of the villains, is Starro, the giant starfish that the Justice League first fought like in 1960 or something. I think Starro was like the very first villain that the Justice League fought as a team in old DC Comics. And I think that's cool because Starro is a pretty cool villain um, if you don't know much about him. I mean, he's kind of silly looking, you know, a giant, you know, starfish from space that controls people's minds by, you know, slapping them in the face with tiny starfish. But um, there's something about the character that's pretty awesome, which I think is why if you read comic books, if you've read a lot of Justice League and DC comic books, a lot of writers keep bringing, star, keep bringing Starro back to fight the Justice League and other people throughout the years because they see the coolness and the awesomeness of that character, even though... There is something pretty silly, but there's also something pretty like awesome about the character at the same time, that duality. But first, apparently there's some like scenes in the Suicide Squad behind the scenes thing that was leaked at Fandome that show us this. So let's watch it. I'm gonna go, I don't, well, let's just start. I think it's gonna surprise people. You kind of sit there and go, how did they do that? It's going to be different from any superhero movie ever made. There's no one better in the world to direct The Suicide Squad than James Gunn. I was excited with an opportunity to be able to do The Suicide Squad in the way it could be done from my point of view. This one is completely unique. This is a gritty 1970s war movie combined with the brilliance of James Gunn's characters and comedy. You need your director to set the vibe. The Suicide Squad is think, just a twisted fantasy of characters. I think it just, we Within just passed each of it. Our character, there's a certain beauty. Within most of them, some of them are just pretty crappy through and through. Be like a douchey Captain America. The guy who believes in peace at any cost, no matter how many people he needs to kill along the way. Okay, I got it. Don't ever settle back like you think you know where this is going, because you don't. As soon as you have some sense about what's about to happen next, James comes in. Everyone's exploding. Genitals, heads, arms, legs. It's like a big, massive graphic novel brought to life. This is by far the biggest movie I've ever made. I don't think that you know what to expect. Don't get too attached. This has been truly the greatest, most exciting journey of my life making this film. Cut, that was great. It's right there. There's like, um, if you look, I think in the foreground, I think that's Rat Catcher. But if you look like next to one of Ratcatcher's wrists, there's like a starfish on somebody's face. <laughs> like a purple, a pinkest purple starfish attached to somebody's face, a soldier's face. And if you know your DC Comics, that's Starro, right? This was something like this um, screenshot is something I saw on Twitter. And so, you know, I had to research it. And I was like, wow, it is Starro. I'd seen rumors that the villain was going to be Starro, but I didn't think to talk about it because a lot of rumors about Suicide Squad have turned out to not be the case. But I think this one is it. I mean, if he isn't the main villain, he is a villain. But that's cool. Starro is awesome. A giant starfish from space who controls people telepathically. That's fantastic, right? And you may think that, that character is too silly to work in modern superhero movies, but if there's any director who can make a silly, a simultaneously silly and awesome character work in modern superhero movies, it's James Gunn. If you've seen James Gunn's other movies, right? He can do it. Um, very interesting. Starro is mostly a Justice League villain, so very interesting to see him go up against the Suicide Squad. Of course, in the comics, he's fought other people besides the Justice League, but he's mostly one of them. Right now, um, most recently, Starro, one of the, you know, one Starro has been, the giant one has been killed. But there's, you know, a little part of him that has regrown called Jaro, who's kind of like a Justice League assistant. <laughs> it's interesting. Um, but yeah, Starro's a cool character. 
And um, I'm glad that James Gunn is going to, you know, do him some justice on the big screen. I think there's a whole generation of people who are going to find out how magnificent Starro is when they see this movie. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.